Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create pagination in React.js using hooks. At the first step, let's create a components directory inside source and inside components, let's create a file called pagination.js, which is going to be our source file. Inside pagination.js, let's import React at first. After we import React, let's export default function. And the function name is the component name, which is pagination. Okay, curly braces. And here we should return the template. And let me add these fragments inside return so we can actually put whatever we want here. Okay. Uh, in order to get started, we need to access some data. Go and search for JSON placeholder. And inside this site, JSON placeholder, there are some fakeress APIs that you can access their data. And if I click on to do, for example, it has a lot of dummy to do objects. All I need to do is to take the URL where the data exists and come here to the component of my app. I should uh, create a function to fetch the data. Let's call it fetch data. It should be an error function and uh, definitely it should be an async function because we're going to uh, fetch some data using axis. Inside the function, uh, let's create a const variable called response and it is equal to await axis. Make sure you install it in your React app dot get and inside get we should uh, paste the URL we just picked. And after that, all we need to do is to set the response to some local variable. So let's create a state here uh, for our to-do objects. Let's call it const to-do and set state is set to-do. Let's say set to-dos because there are more than one object, okay? And it is equal to a use state with initial value of an empty array. All we need to do is to set to do's to the response, which is our uh, object array. Okay. And then we need to run this function whenever the page is loaded. So let's call use effect. And inside use effect, we have an error function. And don't forget to add this dependency array. Inside use effect, we should call our fetch data like this. Okay. And now uh, we need to actually display our to-do objects on our screen. So I need to uh, create an unordered list. Let me add a class of bootstrap like um, list group. And inside list group, what I need to do is to map to-do's state. So I call to-do's map and the arguments of the map function should be a to do and an index for each object. And here, what I need to do is to return a list item inside which there's some data. Let me add the list item tag. Let's give it a class of list group item with the bootstrap class. And inside each item, we need to put our response data. Data is a field where the content exists. And each object uh, has some fields. I need the title for each list item. So what I need to do is to render the uh, response data title inside each p tag. To do title. Okay. Let's import our component inside after JS. Add a tag. The component name was pagination. Close the tag and yeah, as you can see, our two objects are right here. Okay, next step is to add the pagination logic here. Uh, we need some states. First one is a uh, current page, which is our current page number actually, and set current page is equal to a use state. Initial value is one because first page has index of one. Okay. The next state should be for items per page, which means how many items are we allowed to wrap inside each page. 
it is a use state as well and initial value is uh, whatever we want for example i want to wrap 10 items in each page and what we need to do is to uh, have some local variables for the first and the last index of items existing in each page the first one is the last item index which is equal to the current page multiplied by items per page the next one is the first item index uh, which means the first index existing in this current page is equal to last item index uh, subtracted by items per page and the last one is a slice of the to do's array which exists between uh, the first index and the last index so we need to say to do's the slice and uh, the arguments are the first index and the last index we just defined okay and we also need to declare our pages I mean page indexes actually so let's create an array for our pages as well comes pages it's an empty array and here I create a for loop to uh, push the indexes inside this okay let i is equal to 1 until i is less than to this length uh, divided by items per page which means the number of pages we need i plus plus and every time this for loop is uh, run we need to push the index which is i to our pages array okay and let's display our pages indexes inside a nav tag here in nav all we need to do is to map our pages and then return it and the argument is page and index and the error function has a return body okay inside return we have a button let me give it a class of bootstrap and then uh, let's render the page we just mapped inside this button let's also uh, set the key to index for each button and uh, all right this is the display of the pages array we just created right here okay let's take a look let's scroll down and we can see the pages right here inside our buttons the last step to make this pagination functional is to add an onclick method to our buttons all we need to do is to add this onclick which sets the current page to this page which is being mapped okay and instead of the whole to do's we need to map uh, these page items inside each page and yeah that's all that's how it works let me style it a little bit to look like this and yeah as you can see the pagination works perfectly that's all thanks for watching